Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Neetu and this is the best place for tested and tried foods and workouts to build muscle and to gain weight. Main highlight of today's video is for people with high metabolism, which is most of us hard gainers, and if they can gain weight and if yes, then how? So if you're someone who thinks no matter what you do in your life, you will never put on weight just because you have high metabolism, then stay tuned till the end of this video because we have a bit to talk. Before I get started with this video, I really wanted to quickly mention to drop in any questions you might have related to health and fitness in the comments section below because in my next video, I will be answering all of your questions in Hindi. So don't hesitate to ask anything. All right, so what is metabolism and what does fast or slow metabolism means? Metabolism is basically all the chemical reactions happening inside our body where food is digested, broken down and converted in energy and building blocks. Once converted, all of these substances are then transported to the rest of the body to support growth and proper functioning of the body. Now, high metabolism is when all these chemical reactions are happening at a pretty faster rate, meaning we will need a lot more energy to sustain growth and develop. Slow metabolism is vice versa, meaning all these chemical reactions are happening at a pretty slower rate than normal. Now, genetics play a really important role in this and people with slow metabolism can definitely introduce any physical activity in their lifestyle to be able to improve their metabolism. But sadly, for people with high metabolism, we cannot really reverse it. But that doesn't mean you cannot build muscle and that definitely doesn't mean that you cannot gain weight. I'm a live example that people with high metabolism can definitely gain weight. It will be a slower process, but you definitely can. If I could get from 43 to 57 kilos, then I can assure you that anyone can. As long as you're consistent with your approach and have patience to keep going, even when you see no to very small results, even in four to five weeks time. There is always a way out of everything. And the only way out of this is to eat more calories in a day. Now, how do you know how many calories your body is burning and how much more calories you should be consuming in a day? To determine that, you will need to calculate your basal metabolic rate, also known as BMR, which is basically the number of calories your body burns when at rest. Now, the formula to calculate this is a little complicated, so I will make sure to leave a link in the description below so you can go and calculate it once you have watched this video. I calculated this for myself and my body roughly burns around 1300 calories when at rest, which means I need to eat at least a minimum of 1300 calories in a day to maintain and more to grow. Now for me, because I live a pretty active lifestyle, my body is burning a lot more calories on top of that 1300 calories during a workout or other activities that I do in a day. So keeping that in mind, I make sure I at least eat a minimum of 500 calories more than the total calories I'm burning in a day. Now, once you have calculated your BMR, and if you don't really do any physical activity in a day, then your focus should be to eat 100 to 200 calories more each day and to increase that every one to two weeks. Though I highly recommend to introduce weight straining in your lifestyle to be able to gain healthier weight by building muscle mass. And if you do decide to do that, then take into consideration the calories you will be burning during your workout and make sure to eat more than that. Now to make it easy for you, I would suggest you download my fitness pal on your phone, add in your current body measurements, your goal weight and your physical activity level and it will help you calculate the number of calories you should be consuming in a day to be able to reach your goals. I've shared tips on how to increase your calories in 11 different ways in this video right here and some Indian food options and the quantity you should take to gain weight in this video right here. So definitely go check out these videos after you've watched this one. I'm a big believer of lifting weights to gain weight as muscle and not just fat, which is why I highly recommend anyone who's wanting to gain weight to definitely consider lifting heavy weights. And especially if you want to gain weight fast, then lifting weights will only make this process faster for you. Now, because I'm such a big fan of lifting weights, I have a leg workout mainly focusing on hamstrings and glutes for you today. So let's get started with that. First exercise is a Romanian deadlifts. Keeping a straight back and a slight bend in the knee, drive hips backwards while lowering the weight. Feel a stretch in the hamstrings at the lowest position and pressing through the heels to lift back up and squeeze them glutes at the top of the movement. Second exercise 
exercise is single leg deadlifts. Again, the same cues for this one. Rest one leg on a bench and keeping the back nice and straight and a slight bend in the knee. Lower that weight while feeling a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Just make sure you keep the weight as close as possible to your shins and press through your heels again, squeezing the hips at the top of the movement. Third exercise is sumo squats. These work amazing for your inner thighs as well as your glutes. Keep your feet a little wider than shoulder width with toes pointing outwards. Focus on sitting backwards and making sure your knees are following the direction of your toes and they are not going past the toes. Again, pressing through the heels, just lift yourself up and squeeze the glutes at the top of the movement. Now make sure to keep these movements nice and slow and controlled. I have just fast forwarded these movements here just to keep the video a little short, but you just make sure you're doing them slow and controlled. Next exercise is some reverse lunges. Take a long step backwards and lunge down so that your thigh comes sort of parallel to the ground and then press through the heels to lift yourself back up. Lastly, we have a side step up to a glute kickback complex. As you can see, I'm stepping up on a bench with one leg while kicking the other leg backwards and squeezing that glute very quickly at the top of that kick. <laughs> workout you guys hope you all liked it and will implement in your workout routine at home or in a gym as i mentioned earlier if you have any questions related to health and fitness don't forget to leave those questions in the comments below as i would love to address all of your questions in my next video which will be in hindi till then stay fit stay fabulous and i will see you in the next video bye guys